Super Super Sport wet paint. Big feet. I pull up and kill shit. Six feet. All right, six feet going deep. It's Victoria's with Shariah. All right, Shariah, why don't you tell us about what you do? Um, I am an artist. I'm a singer slash rapper, and yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Chicago. Uh, Chicago. Yes. What was it like growing up out there? Um, growing up in Chicago was really fun. Um, it was lit. It's not as bad as people make it seem, but um, the Chirac. Yeah, <laughs> it was a little bit of Chirac, but definitely it was fun. It was good. Yeah. yeah. I used to walk around with like a, with a strap, like everywhere. No. You <laughs> No, no. Not after that. No. Well, um, like tell me about your childhood, like growing up out there. Um, growing up, I was very into like dancing and cheerleading and piano lessons, singing lessons. I just stayed busy. Like growing up, I had a lit childhood. You were in a musical family. Yes. You grew up out there. Mm -hmm. What artists were you listening to? Like you were influenced by. Um, I listen to like a lot of 90s music like um, Jacket Edge, Slow Jam. Destiny's Child, um, 112, like just like a lot of like R&B like soul music. Mm. That's what I listen to. <laughs> is that um, like how has that influenced your style now? It influenced my style because music today is so different and I still have that old school feel. Mm. So that's what makes me different from what's going on right now. Is it because they don't be like making videos in the rain? <laughs> exactly like i don't feel like people in touch with they like feminine side no more or like with they feelings so that's me i'm in touch <laughs> when did you feel like um like it was right for you to start like making music like tell me about like the first time you entered the studio like was it at your house or like was it a professional studio um no the first time i made a song it was actually in my godmother's basement and um I, my boyfriend was Chief Keef at the time, and he, I just was seeing him like grind every day. And I was like, you know what? I want to do music. I want to take it serious. And I went and made a rap, right. and it sucked, I think, but a lot of people liked it. And then ever since then, I just been recording music. What, were you gonna do like how the ankle monitor on YouTube? No, <laughs> no, I don't know. Nope. Yeah. So, did you feel like like would you say that your music was like drum music? My very first song was drill music, but that was just me still like finding my sound. But now it's totally different. Nothing like drill music. Very sexy, very soulful, mm -hmm. very like in your face, very like talking about these niggas that ain't shit. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? Like just putting my heart into it. Yeah. So it's very, yeah, it's, a, it's feeling music. It gives you a feel. Did you ever have like a heartbreak that like really influenced your music? No. Mm -mm. No. Uh, so it was mostly just love? Yeah, just mess with love. But I got some new shit that got something to do with heartbreak, so stay tuned. Because yeah, usually heartbreak is like, that's when the most fire music <laughs> Yeah. I don't really get my heart broke, though. I'm too player for that. Player for that? Yeah, I'm too player to get my heart broke. You playing these niggas? Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. what's, like some, what's some relationship advice that you give like the girls out there? relationship advice is don't put all your eggs in one basket do you these fellas will be here um get your money get your education stay focused and the right man will follow you don't go following a man you feel like it's the same with music absolutely follow your dreams because you signed to catch money right yes so um so tell me about your relationship with like baby and um my relationship with baby and slim is really good um they really taking their time with me and um my project that's coming out is going to be super dope okay. yeah what's like what's the recording process like when you're working with them my recording process is very tedious i'm in a studio from seven to seven and i'm just really in there just like getting out my thoughts getting out my feelings i'm sitting there um fixing things changing things just trying to get it right so and they want the best for me so yeah how about like setting everything up like artist wise like all the you know like shows promotions like everything else um everything, do you everything yourself no i don't do everything myself i have a team that sets up everything for me so i don't have to worry about that part of it yeah. do you feel like things would be different if you like were independent or do you feel like it's better to assign to a label um honestly it just depends on how you move because regardless yeah. if you would a label or you by yourself at the end of the day you still have to put in that work for yourself mm. You know what I'm saying? A label just really co-signs, yeah. you know? So regardless being signed or not, it's just me doing the groundwork, me, you know what I'm saying, just staying focused and getting everything done that I need to get done. And just having a support just makes it even better. What about some advice that you want to give to anyone like starting out right now? The advice I want to give to someone starting out is stay focused. 
block out all the negativity anything that you feel will distract you from your music block it out and just really just go for it because negative energies and vibes will throw you off and yeah you don't need to get thrown off so just stay focused and block everything out now of course what about like on the future like what do you have planned in the future i have planned shows i'm going on tours um being in movies um just doing a lot just exploring my talents yeah i have a lipstick line coming out a workout line coming out and yep just those things so stay tuned stay tuned <laughs> you have anyone you want to shout out um shout out to myself i've been working hard i've been grinding and a lot of people know me just from other things but i am on my way so just stay tuned shout out to me <laughs> not just saying shout out to born leaders shout out to cash money shout out to my team and yeah stay tuned sharia is on her way ah, for sure um where can they find you up you can find me on instagram at real raya f baby that's r-e-a-l-r-i-a-h-h-f-b-a-b-y for sure so it's been six feet with sharia thank you six feet <laughs>